Now this COVID-19 is a viral illness which started in Wuhan in December 2019 and then spread throughout China and became an epidemic and to the world and now it's a pandemic. Patients usually come to us with high fever, dry cough, breathlessness, headaches, body aches, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain and so on. The confirmatory test is a swab and the test is RT-PCR which confirms the diagnosis. Now this is a relatively new virus. The research is still going on. There is no definitive treatment, no guidelines yet and no vaccine to protect you. I'll be letting you know some do's and don'ts because this virus is basically transmitted through infected droplets when an infected patient coughs or sneezes. The virus can travel a distance of 6 feet. It can land on the surfaces and be active on the surfaces for up to 5 days. So these do's and don'ts would definitely be useful for you to prevent yourself from getting this illness. We first go on for the do's. First and foremost is social distance. Keep a distance of at least 6 feet between two people because as I said the virus can travel up to 6 feet. So maintain a distance of 6 feet. Second is your hand wash. Hand wash has to be proper at least 6 to 7 times in a day. The technique also has to be right. It is like you take soap and water, rub your palms, rub the dorsum of your hand, rub the bed clean the toes, press the fist and then the wrist and this should go on for 20 seconds each time you wash. If by chance soap and water is not available or you need to go out then you should always carry the sanitizer with you which should have at least 60% of alcohol base in it and you have to do it the same way as you do for hand wash. Another important thing you have to disinfect the surfaces, the normally touched surfaces like the tabletop, the handles of the doors, the knobs, the electrical switches which should be decontaminated with sodium hypochlorite solution at least two to three times in a day. Another important thing is if at all you need to go out for any emergency work then you should not forget to use a mask. Simple three pair mask is sufficient which when used properly can give you a protection of up to 95% from the viruses. Another important thing, eat well, have a healthy nutritious diet, drink a lot of water, plenty of fluids, have a good sleep at least 6 to 7 hours and do some physical exercises in your house. Plus, Mental health is also very important. These days we get lots of calls where people are in severe stress. So mental relaxation techniques need to be followed. You may do meditation, you may do yoga or anything you are happy with. Now the don'ts first is very important. Don't just sneeze or cough in the open. Use a handkerchief or you can cough in your armpit so that the droplets are not transferred. Second is don't wash your vegetables with soap and water. The surface of the vegetables and fruits are porous. If you wash with soap and water, it will go inside the vegetables and fruits and which can be harmful for you. Then don't unnecessarily touch your face because your face is a portal of entry for the viruses in your body. It can go through your eyes, through your nose and through your mouth. In case if you need to touch your face, Again, wash your hands properly with soap and water, then only touch your face. If you go out, then when you come back, please remove the shoes outside the door. Otherwise, the shoes are also or the footwear is known to carry the viruses inside. When you're opening the door, don't open with your hand. This is the most used part. You can use the elbow or you can use your back to push the doors. Last but not the least, few sentences about the use of hydroxychloroquine. We get many phone calls from patients asking us whether they can use hydroxychloroquine. Mind you, as per ICMR, 
the recommended body for physicians. It is recommended for use for physicians or healthcare workers who are at high risk, who are exposed to patients and also recommended for use for COVID-19 patients. It's not recommended for use for general public and those who are not at high risk. This drug can be potentially dangerous, especially if you are elderly, if you have cardiac issues, if you have kidney problems. This drug can even cause death to the patient taking it. So unless your doctor recommends, unless your doctor screens you and decides that you are right candidate, don't go for the drug. So stay indoors, stay healthy, stay happy and together if we follow all the precautions, we can break the chain of this virus. Take care. Thank you. Thanks.